I mean, we're, we're still a work in progress. Uh, you know, uh, this team has never been together before. We had one practice yesterday, and I think, like like you said, we had some really nice moments, and then we had moments where you can tell we've never played together. And, you know, those are the things that, you know, this week here um, with these three games and, you know, a couple days going to Tokyo, I mean, those things will get better. And, uh, you know, obviously you always want to win the game, but – at the end of the day, we're here, you know, for a bigger goal than, you know, to win an all-star game. Um, so, I mean, we'll get better as as time goes. And Doug Feinberg, you're up next. Hey, guys. Uh, obviously, you haven't had many losses in exhibition games as the U.S. team, and you're not going to see a team as good as this one, I think, in the Olympics. What do you take away from tonight to get ready for the rest of the uh, exhibitions and in Tokyo? Um, I think in any exhibition game, you're, you're really just trying to learn something about yourself and learn something about the team and, and how you're going to um, or how we're going to put it all together. And I think Dee said it. This was just in some ways like another practice for us, because those are the moments that you find out what you need to work on. Um, you know, you find out for the coaches, they're going to figure out, you know, how the group is most cohesive, which which five on the floor at different times works best. I mean, these are things that take you know, and this has always been the challenge of USA basketball. I think we've said this to, you know, ad nauseum. These things usually take a full training camp or, you know, months or years. And we always try to do it um, in, a, in a matter of days or weeks. And, and this was just the, the first step. Of course, you know, we, we want to win all the games. Um, it's not the first exhibition game we've lost. And like I said, and like you said, um, we're just going to learn from it and move on. And congratulations to the WNBA team. They, they played great. And hopefully it was a good show for everybody. Thank you. Gary Washburn, you're up next. Hi, ladies. You guys are veterans of multiple Olympics, but this Olympics in particular, most of the highlight and the most elite athletes coming from the United States are women. What does that say about the advancement of women's athletics in America? And how proud are you guys, are you guys to be part of kind of like this, you know, women athletes and kind of their growth and how they're obviously dominant in this Olympics. I mean, I guess it's kind of nice that they finally took some notice. I don't know. I was going to say, that's what I was going to say. I was going to be like, we've kind of already, I feel like we already, even last Olympics, didn't didn't the U.S. women like out medal some countries, if memory serves. Um, yes. So maybe the issue is they're not getting the coverage they deserve. I don't, I don't think it's been all of a sudden you know, women in the U.S. are elite at what they do athletically. Thank you. Next, we'll go to Alex Strum and then to um, Nick Hamilton. Hi, Sue. Hi, Diana. It's nice to be talking to you two for the first time. Um, Sue, you said earlier, oh, sorry. Sue, you said earlier that one of the goals for these kinds of games is to learn something about this team, about, about this team of players that has never played together before. What did you learn about yourselves tonight against um, Team WNBA? Um, I think we learned we're not a team yet. I mean, Dee said it, we've had one practice. And this group has never played together before. So I think we learn like, it's never as simple as just throwing, you know, 12 of the best out there and it just clicks. That's never been the case. It hasn't been the case in any Olympics that we've played in. So I think we, it was a good reminder of that. Um, and it was also a good reminder that Everybody's always going to want to take us down. So you got to be ready for that. <laughs> Two good points. Thank you. Um, if I can quick follow up, do you know what the timeline is? Because I know last time you guys didn't know much. Like, are you guys going to practice again before leaving for Tokyo? Do you know anything about the timeline of when that takes place? That's a Caroline Williams. I think question. there's a schedule on usabasketball.com you can check for games. Right. Thank you. Uh, we've got Nick Hamilton, Doug Feinberg, and then we'll wrap up this. <laughs> This group. Nick Hamilton. Good evening, ladies. Um, I wanted to ask you, what have you learned thus far? I know it's only it's been a short period of time, but what are you looking to learn from head coach Don Staley as far as just moving this team along individually as well to better your games? Yeah, I think, you know, we're just a work in progress right now. That's that's a good thing. Um, you know, we always talk about when we get together with USA Basketball, uh, it's never easy. Uh, the end result always seems like uh, the road is smooth, but it's not. Uh, and, 
you know, like I always say, you don't want to peak too early. So we've got a long way to go, which is a good thing for us. And we'll close this, uh, this section out with Doug Feinberg. Hey, you, you both said this is going to be more competitive than other All-Star games. I mean, I don't remember a timeout being called in the first quarter of any All-Star game. Just how competitive was it out there? It seemed like defense was being played for all four quarters. Yeah, it was really competitive. It was really competitive. Um, definitely not a typical All-Star game. You know, usually, you know, you talk <clears throat> to players and we talk about putting on a good show and, you know, having a good time and, and hopefully the, the fans enjoy it. Um, but this right from the, the tip felt different. It, it had an intensity about it. And um, I think you could tell. That's why you're asking that question. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.